Fire Seer harassing. Always a good idea to play super aggro on maps you don't know because you don't have to creep. And you don't get caught off guard by any surprises. Almost a surround. DK half HP already. No last hit there. All experience goes to Lex. Oh, coil potential on the wolf? No. There was no resummon, so we could have coiled it. I think it would have been worthwhile. This map actually doesn't look too bad, does it? Oh, that's four labs? Or no, three? Two labs? Oh, I thought this was a lab as well. No, okay, I was going crazy. I thought, I thought there was four labs in the center. Losing my mind, it's alright. Starbuck has fast tech. Is there any racks? No, this will be Windriders. Again, a nice strat to do on maps you don't know very well, because it's so aggressive, and it makes it so easy to creep things when you have six Windriders. It just really streamlines the game strategically. A little high ground shop op uh, action there. Not bad. And yeah, nothing too crazy so far on this map. This looks like a half decent 1v1 map. Is that what it is? A player's forces are under attack. Well, first, oh shit! Sorry, you're totally right. Where do I? Where does Neil put this thing? Put it here for now. My bad. Bad streamer. Everything's screwed up right now. One sec. Clap. A player's forces are under attack. There we go. Sorry, that's the best. That's the best I can do right now. Okay, DK 2.3. Do we have B series? We do, and a Shadow Hunter and Tier 3. Windriders on their way. Lix should be aware of this. He hasn't seen any units yet. Players' forces are under attack. Oh, look at this. Love it. Although he's gonna aggro the shop soon. Because, yeah, all creeps share. All creeps are on the same team. I would like the idea, but <laughs> it's not gonna work. But it might work, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. Forces are under attack. <laughs> X again. There we go. So, so far, nothing crazy on this map, eh? Just a pretty decent map. Oh, there we go. That's new. Scroll of Speed or Tome of Speed, I think it's called. Tree bridge? Am I missing something on this map? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if I missed something. Oh, and a tome of a uh, spirit link, apparently. He's spirit linked. Which is really good with Unholy Aura. <laughs> Speed scroll. Scouting.
mercenaries are probably going to be a little bit weird. But none purchased yet. Windrider's coming for the creep jack. That's going to be three dead ghouls no matter what you do. Oh, but hero focus on the farce here. That should be a TP. Hex. Oh, no. Shadowhunter. TP out. Oh, he didn't get an auto attack with the DK. Uh, Lix could have done that a little bit better there, actually. I think they're called runes. That's true. Yes. Rune the speed, a rune of Link, or whatever it is. Batrider is coming out as well. Preemptively. There is no Destro yet. There is no Garg yet. Oh, there's destructible rocks on this map, apparently, that I missed. Maybe you guys saw it, but I missed it. Yeah, Garg's probably not going to be the option. But we might be too late into the game to go for Fiends. That's a big camp. Horrifying. Oh my god, look at that. Ooh. Jesus. They TP out. Lots of creeps on the top side, though, for Starbuck. Would be surprised if he didn't just go right there. Spirit Link, there we go. Is that going everything, I wonder? Yeah, that's sick. A player's forces are under attack. Oh yeah, true. War 3 Champions auto says colors, right? So this is weird for you guys. I thought it looked weird seeing purple. Up to Cars' voice, he sounds older and wiser. I'm trying to not completely lose it. Um, I should be able to make it through the stream. But I've been muting and coughing and clearing my throat a lot. So sorry about that. I wish it wasn't a reality, but it is. I'll be better by next week, promise. It'll be the one time you hear me struggle to keep my voice. He, he indeed is older than last stream, that's true. Oh, this critter is hella annoying. They should have a map where critters have like 6,000 HP. That would be hilarious. Or just one critter on the map has 6,000 HP. I like the Alchemist, by the way. Didn't mention that yet, but big fan. Lix is pretty good. Now that I remember, Lix in Dust League had to play against Windriders quite a few times. And he was really impressive against it, now that I remember. I forget who it was. I think it was Seiso or Insop or somebody. You know, one of those undead players that plays Orc on occasion. And he was really far behind, and then he just micered his way into a victory, I remember. So, Lex is no stranger to Mass Windriders. Tiny Great Hall. Mana burn, spike collar. Gonna be pretty good. Players 
forces are under attack. A town is under siege. This expansion is buying a lot of space for Starbuck, I guess. And it will eventually be able to mine. Lick's running all the way back. He's going to lose a lot here. He might lose the game here. Look at the supply. Yeah, it's looking like 1-0 for Bucky. That right is 3 for a Destro. He could have coiled it and kept it alive, but... So much damage. Ghouls split off. And supply blocked with no acolytes? Wait, is he screwed? No, he got one. Okay, because he lost the ghoul over here. There we go. Almost level 4 DK, that'll help, but we do need units first and foremost. Oops, sorry. I hit my mic stand. I was trying to stretch. My bad. Still a red camp available. Stone token would be a nice drop from there, possibly. A player's forces are under attack. More harass. It's only got two acolytes, but they'll both be dying soon. <laughs> Bellstalker. Just to harass a bit more. And this guy isn't mana burning. He really doesn't do a lot. Just Windriders winning the fight over here. Lost one Windrider, but who really cares? Starbuck is in a huge lead right now. And this is going to be 1 0. Whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, whether Lix likes it or not, this is going to be 1 0 for Starbuck. Oopsies. No, he gets it in the end. And GG is called 1 0 for Starbuck. <clears throat> Purple is weird to see on this, but cool that we get it every once in a while. Alright, but we will have a game too. I'm pretty sure. Nice, we got to see most of that map though. It wasn't uh, too one-sided that we didn't get to see any of it, which is nice. And we will get to see a different map now as well. You see the mustache. Yeah, here. I'm gonna get close. Is that good enough for you? Is that what you wanted? Oh, I messed up my autofocus. That's what you did to me.
Black Crumbs, thank you for giving us a sub to Carson's mustache. Appreciate you, man. <laughs> thank you. This has been fun. You guys liking this? I don't know how often this will happen, but if this is one a once a month thing, I think all the, the players are pretty happy. I think you guys are happy. This has been good. I like it. The maps are fun. A little bit of a confusing format, but who cares if it's confusing as long as it works? Right? That's how I think of it. There we go. Oh. <clears throat> We're in game two, which is going to be on Melting Pot. This map looks wild. And we're loaded in. Starbuck, up 1-0 versus Lix. Map number two. After this, I believe we'll have a free-for-all, and then we'll have the finals finals to determine the winner. I think this is like for 200 bucks or something, too. It's not for a small amount of money, either. Here we go. To the upper right of Melting Pot is Starbuck. Bottom left is Licks. What are these red dots? What are these? What are... What is this? Is this just part of the terrain, or is this something I'm supposed to pay attention to? I don't know. No idea. Why is there two taverns? Oh, so is it divided? I guess we'll find out. I don't know what's going on here. I'm confused. Flame Master and Headhunters for Starbuck. Amba, yeah, I got you. And one minute prediction. There you go. When I think of Melting Pot, I think of the Booker T and the MGs album from 1968. The 68? Is it later? I don't know. If you know that album, you're my best friend immediately. Okay, that's what we're... I don't know. I don't know what this shit is. I have no idea. <laughs> Players forces are Licks under seems to be going for an expansion. Alright. Let him cook. And this will be very doable. So far nothing crazy about this map. Just a relatively large 1v1 map. That's all it is. one of the best wrestlers. <laughs> Different Booker T, but I know who you're talking about. What is going on here? <laughs> okay. A lot of creeping from Starbuck to be done, but has yet to scout the expansion. Miramage could easily scout that, though, and it will be doing that soon. Triplordio. On his way to level 3. 
but I'm going to take a little bit more. Nice scout. Could kill the tome, potentially. Might have too much health, though. Dropkick, what's up, dude? Thanks for 37 months. How you doing? Not like a bad for licks, but Starbuck probably pretty well aware of how to deal with an expansion from this state. Probably just go tier 3, probably just counter expand. No issues there. This will be level 3 potentially, although maybe not. If these are level 3 creeps, it would still not be level 3, so I don't know. Wait a second. Maybe. 48 experience? Okay. Oh, actually, 58 experience he got there. Okay. A player's forces are under attack. Impale could make a big difference. Is he going to go for it? He should. Oh, the split. No, didn't go for it. Yeah, and too much piercing damage behind the burrows. You're not going to get much done with the ghouls. If he didn't get a nice impale there, he wasn't going to get a nice fight at all. Oh, there's an impale. Does he get us around speed scroll? Needs to get one ahead in her for the mana invested, and he will. Actually won't. One goal split off. <laughs> Doesn't get it. Nicely micro from Starbuck. But Lex did miss his impale opportunity when he had it. Gold though, worth noting. If Lex just macros a clean game, he's gonna be in a great position. That's two headers going down there. Counter Expo. The slow way. Yeah, so this is all going to come down to what his macro looks like back at home. Let's see. Let's see how efficient he is. Slaughterhouse Tier 3 Lich? Or Slaughterhouse Tier 3 DK? Oh, he didn't rebuild his... Oh, he did rebuild his altar somewhere. Am I crazy? Where's the altar? He has to have it. Oh, it's right here. Sorry, I'm losing my mind. I haven't cast it in a month, guys, okay? Ed, give me a break. So yeah, his macro is pretty clean. Want to see a Death Knight, ideally. Or is he going to go for a Tavern Hero? That'd be weird. No, yeah, double Slaughterhouse. A town is under siege. Okay. Nice timing from Starbuck, though. Wait, what the hell? This is sick. I love this. Dude, that's so sick. That demolisher is going to cause a lot of havoc. He's still got a decent amount of gold, but this is ideally where you want to be macroing up, not defending your expansion if you're Lex. Which is why this timing is so nice for Starbucks. Starbucks playing this really, really well. He's mining at the same time. How do you deal with this demo? I don't know if you do. Under attack. Shop as well. Uh, 
Tier 3 is almost done. The resources have all been spent by Lick, so... <laughs> Lava spawns. What the hell? Tier 3 is done for Starbuck. Berserker upgrade immediately. You mining Foldy yet? Not yet, actually. You might have to give up the expansion. That's wild. Are under is under siege. This could have been resolved if he had just built a... Like, if you if this map was standard, you'd build a ziggurat here and get a spirit tower by default. And then this demolisher would not be able to do this. I don't think. It would, however, be able to attack the Ziggurat from further back, which is another thing to consider. It looks has to defend. How big will the Impale be? There's no Lich with Orb yet. Oh, the Hex is massive to stop the Impale. Starbucks Micro, pretty on point here. Look at the micro, never allowing the impale to get off. Look at this. How is he? He can't get a good impale. TC surrounded, but who cares? Vestra morphed, but not coiled. Coils a beetle by accident. Damn, this is all Starbucks. Jesus. Passes a potion last second as well, even. My god. Well played. Well played. What can you say? Lex was unable to defend his expansion. And Starbuck gets a 2 0.